Bass resonator here. Look what I have. This is the mold that I won on a giveaway from Sandra Retic's giveaway. It's a molds and shapes. It's the rough and tough circle coaster mold. So I'm gonna try some stuff that they do all the time. And they call it a Daisy Belly, and if it doesn't come out right, we'll just call it Tim's Belly. Because <laughs> I don't know who they. I know a Daisy, but it's probably not the same person that they're thinking of. Um, I've been mixing these pretty. S so, get those bubbles out the way. Um, I have in this first cup, peacock resin, peacock blue resin dye from Let's Resin. Um, couple drops of bloom with this blue laser paste stuff that I got on Timu and then sky blue resin dye from Let's Resin and then black resin dye from Let's Resin let's just not Let's Resin let's hope it works and then I'm gonna use um, turquoise stones so let's see if I can get this to work bubble hanging out right there in the middle quite a few bubbles there And just get those to release off the bottom. And I think there's some little tiny bubbles in there too. I think that's hopefully those will release off as we go along. Okay, now this is going to be a trip. Well, those guys went right back down to the bottom. Come on up. Now, Sander Rettich and Petra Gerbracht, I've seen them do this um, technique a lot. And they just usually use white. So with me using that laser paste in there, I don't know what it's going to do, but it looks kind of cool. Sky blue. Boy, it's a pretty color, huh? On top of that laser paste blue. Now, this one didn't have as much of that peacock as this one. So I'm pouring more of this in there so we can sort of get it balanced. I really don't know how much these molds hold. I was sort of calculating based on a 5 inch coaster mold that I have. But my 5 inch coaster molds are straight edge. Let me do a little bit more here. And then 
more here. And so they're not going to be exactly the same. And I was guessing a little over 10 ounces to do both of these. Now the black. And you're like, black? Yep. Black, black, black is the color. But I used a resin dye, not a paste, so it's going to be more translucent, even though it is darker than that. That sky blue that's in there. I'm going to get both molds up, filled up about the same amount. Close to the top. You're the tops. You're the tower. Okay, now. Let me, there are a lot of bubbles on the top of there. Don't want to ruin my new mold, so I'm going real fast and I'm only going over the center area. Now, get out my long handle torch, see if I can get the ones over on the edge. Air conditioner is blowing. Keep moving my flame around. Okay, this has three stones that are larger. This has two large and two small. So I'm just going to sort of hope they go straight into the middle where I drop them. So far, so good. That one looked like it drifted. I'll, I will get my. here I'm really with these colors really wanting to highlight those stones the turquoise but if you look This technique, you pour those different colors in and that white color, even though mine had white with that laser paste, goes down and then it starts coming up over the top and, it, and it'll fill in. So I'm going to let this go into um, um, time lapse and we'll see what happens. Hey, the AC went off so now should have better success getting these bubbles. Okay, here we go. Watching me pop bubbles. I don't know about you, but it's I've always been fascinated watching either blooms occur or these daisy bellies or Larimar effect, how that resin changes over time. And I got this in 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 uh high speed going about 60 or 70 percent faster that's as fast as I can make this go but um, anyway it's kind of cool the these bubbles man they they come up randomly and I don't understand why they don't all come up at once so I can get them I think the uh, heat as it's coming up around those stones kept bringing up little bubbles right there the one on the left is closing in more than the one on the right. 
but they're still I was hoping for turquoise color and for the stones to be highlighted and I am not disappointed in what ended up what ends up resulting uh, after at the end you'll see I mean it's kind of cool watching this And that, what I did was I just um, got zoomed in like this and then let it go for a while as I went out and watched a TV show. And then I came back in a little bit later and well, you'll see what I'll do in just a little bit. Um, the one on the right now, it seems like the, the center is off, how it's blooming or whatever you call this this effect. Um, the one on the left is, is going right up over the stones, but the one on the right is, I don't know. <laughs> it's, they sort of look like eyes, and the one on the right is, is um, I don't know if you've ever had <laughs> any friends, but I had this friend um, that could cross one eye. And that's what that reminds me of. It's the one on the left is fine. The one on the right is is that that girl that could do her eyeball weird. Um, and she could also do the frantic eye. I don't know what you call it, but the 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 pupils would just vibrate in place. It it was they were really creepy. Uh, it can't have been good for her eye health, but. Now that one on the right is closing in a little bit more um, to my liking. It's coming back more center. Or is that just me imagining it? The one on the left is pretty much closed up. You see those little glistening things? That's that laser paste. I was expecting it to be a, a darker paste but all it did was just put holographic stuff all over the place which is kind of cool um, but that's not what I was expecting when I saw the pictures of it it looks like this grayish blue with sparkles so I mixed in some bloom paste to, to give it more body and I'm glad I did because otherwise you wouldn't see much of it other than just sparkles and I and I want that white that is in there so that you can see the the daisy belly or the Tim's belly taking place and when it when I pop them out of here the next day they um that white is definitely needed so you can see the little billows and billows and pillows and cells or whatever they're called in this one last little bit with the long handled lighter and then the little swirl and then we just wait until the morrow and it won't take long all cured up boy that <laughs> sticks to that um, mat that I have. Okay, one on the right. This one had less of the um, peacock. Look how easy this peels out of there. Oh man. I'm going to definitely get some stills of these out in the sun. That shiny, sparkly with the that peacock and the sky blue behind. Look at this. <laughs> I'm a liking this. This one's coming out easy too. Oh, yes. I actually like this one a little bit more because I can see more of that color through there. This one... This one has more black, 
and it filled in that center area. Oh no, if I show it that way. Let's see it. Oh, these came out nice. Daisy Belly a la Tim or the Tim Belly. I don't know what I'm going to want to call it, but that's what this is. Awesome mold, molds and shapes. Thank you to all my subscribers and followers. Um, I have shied away from molds and shapes in the past because the shipping to get it here to me is almost as much as the uh, mold itself. So if I'm... Um, find a few that I might bundle together then I, I may do that because these molds really impressive thank you so much and we'll see you on the flip side Woohoo!